Wednesday, middle of the week, GeoGuessr. Challenge has begun. I'm still fighting my cold. But I hope none of you have gotten sick in the meantime. But hey, hope your uh, Wednesday is going pretty well. I don't know yet. I'm pre-recording this. This is not on a Wednesday. Uh, I didn't see the flag there, but eh, I feel like that clearly made it obvious that this was America. I just don't know where. This is probably Kansas or something. We've got round robin sandwiches and beverages. Welcome. This has a very, like, small town center farm country. So sometimes when you see this stuff, it has to do with like a year, like a thing that happens once a year. If like a town prides itself on whatever motorcycle week is, but I don't think that th that's the case here. So like there's the, what's it, Laconia? That's either Dalton. So this is the town of Dalton. I just don't know where this is. And they're the home of the warriors. I don't see I don't see any state flags anywhere. And I'm not seeing license plates to help me. I'm not gonna upturn uptown image. Uptown of what? I guess you could maybe this is what you would describe as sleepy town. Like I can go this way. And then maybe I'll see if there's a road sign, a route. Of some... This is Dalton Curly Scouts. Litter removal. It's adopt a highway. Not seeing any highway signs, so I'm going to come back into town. See if on the other side of town it's going to tell me anything. Oh, we're going to go into this guy's uh, driveway. Alright. Uh, how we doing? This seems oddly invasionary like we're invading this 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 guy's privacy by coming down this tiny little back road here this isn't a road this was a bad idea coming coming back here we're gonna get lost um that dumpster tells me nothing maybe it will here nope get me back on the road this was a bad idea give me root signs I, I, this i've gotten all this time and i've got nothing I'm going to have to click Kansas. Oh, it's museum for what? Hmm? Um. Oh, this tells me nothing. Harry Schooner Museum. Alright, I'm just going to come out here and just say that this is Kansas because I, I have no... I, I don't know. It was a very tiny town. With very tiny town things in it. Bridgeport and Alliance. Well, there's a lot of Bridgeport, so that doesn't help me at all. Speed limit is 40. This sign? Historical marker. Um, For what? The Oregon Trail? So the Oregon Trail, for those who are not of my age range... Was a old Apple... Well, I played on Apple, but it came out on computers way before that. But it basically was a really fun... I'm just going to put us here, because... I don't know. Real fun um, little computer game you could play. Uh, let's just see where we are. How far off am I? Um, It was Nebraska, not Kansas. What was the town? Well, it was Dalton, but... I didn't see any root signs. That would have really helped me out if I could have found that. But Oregon Trail was a pretty fun game. I'm sure you can actually find a freeware version of it for yourself to try out. You can probably just Google it. There's So this, clearly, as I um, have said times before, that this little line in L's is kind of a W sound, but that is synonymous with the Polish language. So we're in this country. So now it's just finding out what town this is in. Um, 
But also, I'll finish that real quick, because remember, I'm going, to, I'm doing a better job of, or trying to do a better job of finishing stories before I go on anything else. Uh, Oregon Trail was a real thing where people with the whole Manifest Destiny thing would uh, go to colonize the um, inner, like, wilds. And also, I believe, to the uh, west coast of... I think they actually, this was, no, they did not buy the, or, or colonize that side of the West Coast yet. I don't think my memory is being filled in with other dumb shit in the meantime, so. It, it's a pretty interesting thing, just to think about the people who actually would do that, and go, uh, Hey, uh, family, I know that you liked our shitty little, very poorly insulated house, and how cold it was in the winter. Let's just uproot everything and uh, potentially die from dysentery, smallpox. Um, actually, I think all of the Native Americans were, you know how we always gave them, we gave them the smallpox and all that, but we got all their, our, the VD or VI, if they, I don't think they're called the diseases anymore. They're, they want to be called infections. Uh, well, we got all those from the Native Americans. It wasn't a one-way street. We there, there was some trading there in the sense that we got something back, and I think all the sexually transmitted diseases came from them. But just be like, hey, family, we're going to uproot everything, go in a covered wagon. If we don't die from disease uh, or hostile natives as we go, I'm just saying the people who were living there before, and if they're like, hey, we don't like you going through our front yard, go around. Or, uh, potentially horrifically bitterly cold weather. I've got no idea what town this is. I'm just going to say it's woods. I think it's woods. Well, I see the peel tea quite a bit. But I don't know if that means anything. But I've covered my bases that were just in the middle of the, uh, middle of the country. But it, you gotta be either some sort of crazy to be like, yeah, we're going, we're just uprooting everything and, uh, risking our lives just on the backs of these animals who are going to pull of our stuff because they were covered wagons. Look up what covered wagons are. It's wagons generally pulled, I believe, by oxen or horse or whatever animal they could afford to move all their stuff. And, you know, leg breaks, um, in that one ox. I was pulling your cart. Can't do it anymore. I mean, what do you do? Are you going to be able to afford to buy a new animal? Where, where are you going to buy an animal from? And you're like, oh, well, our entire life. Oh, we finally have a highway. With very little time left. 296. Oh, God. How far do we got? Oh, boy. I don't think I'm going to find 296. Is it up in the north? Um... Yeah, I had no idea. Oh, they were we were over here. Okay, well, what town was this? Just because I want to know. Oh, Zagan. I give you points, Poland. I like you. But I don't know if there's actually been any really good movies or shows. I mean, there's Little House on the Prairie, shit like that. That really has depicted how crazy it was to... Uh, do what the people who traveled across the uh boer goats huh bluebird meadows farm all right well boer was a derogatory term they would use for the dutch who lived in south africa and i believe they did not like the term but anyway not not going off track god damn it i'm staying on target here um this is america by the way i just don't know where Because when you think about, I think maybe, what was the, that, that, uh, um, movie with, I can't even think of the guy's name. It was the guy who got killed, like, mauled by a bear in the winter and went traveling around there. I don't know if, whatever that movie, it came out a couple of years ago. I don't know if it was up for an Oscar or if he won for it, but I think he did. But that feels, that looks like a Florida, um blurred out license plate because there's like a little bit of orange in the middle of there. 
But I, I just need, if you had something there to depict what life was like it, during that time period. Like, um, there's a couple of good scenes, I think, from, uh, what's, what's that movie, the last Quentin Tarantino one, The uh, Hateful Eight? Jefferson County, huh? Well, this doesn't help me. There's a lot of Jefferson Counties. Um, every time they opened, the, you saw how bitterly cold it was every time they opened the door. And that, if you haven't seen that movie, it, it's pretty good. I haven't seen the entire thing myself, but pretty, it was still pretty good. What the heck? Where where are we? Where in America is this? Because that didn't help me telling me Jackson County. Because last time I saw a county thing in the previous, oh here we go. Well, this is Route 19, but again. Well, there's Route 19. Uh, I could be way off because Route 19 goes a goes a long way. Well, Jackson, the Jefferson County. How far does 19 go? 19 keeps going. Um, but just to think about how people actually tried to live back then. If you ever happen to visit the. North are actually going to it's at Jet Thomasville. Oh shit. If you happen to go if you don't live in a cold climate, go visit one and go happen to stay in their like little mud room, the little room they had before the room and see how cold that was. And then just imagine people when they were uh living back during the time of the pilgrims or the Oregon Trail stuff. That they were living in even worse conditions with with walls that had like huge holes in them wind blowing in it and all you had to protect yourself was a very shitty ratty old blanket and maybe a non-existent stove that had a little bit of heat in it but you really couldn't have that much because you didn't have that much wood on you so you just had to suffer and i'm like ah this that doesn't seem fun to me people were made of tougher material well they were only as tough as they needed to be. I'm sure if you plucked a person from that time and had them grow up now, they would grow up just like we do now, or in the same sense if we took a kid from now and moved them back then, they probably would actually have a better chance just because of all the immunizations we gave them. Oh, it was in Florida. Okay. There is a Jackson County in Florida. Remember that, folks. There is uh, something to be said for the nature versus nurture thing, but depending on when you grab the kid, okay, well, is that a can? That is a Canada flag. You are Canada, so we're one of these. Okay, but if you grab the kid right after it was born, yeah, then maybe it would have the same immunization issues as childs back then. But if you got it after a couple of years of having all the shots and everything that it needed to actually have a leg up as a child, it would potentially have a better chance of living compared to a kid who didn't have it. Granted, there are booster shots and whatnot to get after a couple of years, but still, at least for a while, the Omsk, Amisk Park? 1980, huh? Okay, that doesn't help me. All I know is that was a Canadian flag, so I feel this is Canada. An Om School Apple Center. See you. Stat C A Amisk. Uh, Buffalo Trail. That again doesn't help me. That could be Manitoba, or what, I think Manitoba is the one that has the buffalo on their road signs. I'm just trying to find like a ma major thoroughfare if there is such a thing, and this this is not helping me. I feel like I was just about to do a circle. I don't want to. Treasury branch, huh? Alberta. Well, that helps me. The ALMSK. I don't think I'm going to find a thing. I need a road sign, Calgary, uh, Alberta. Just put you here just because there aren't too many roads. I don't see AMSK anywhere up there. general store with the old-timey sign on it okay I think I found the road and if I go this way maybe it'll tell me what route this is 
Anyway, all I'm saying is to finish, finish the talk of the pilgrim stuff. Crazy people. It was pretty impressive what they did. So this is Route 13. Look for 13. There's 13. Let's click here. And look for AMSK. Provost. I don't think I'm going to get closer. Oh, there's Amisk. Alright, let's hit home. I want to see if I get 5,000 points. Let's give me a street sign here. We've got 50th Ave. There aren't 50 avenues. 50 Ave and 48? I think we're like right there. Me is smooth. Oh, 49. All right, so this is 49th Street, I believe. I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here and take a look to see what this road says. 49th. Let's hit home and nail this as best as I can. I think I got it. I think that that is actually... I'm going to zoom in more. Because there, there's houses here. How far are we? Actually, we're up like right here. I think like right there. I think this is 5,000 points. Ooh, yeah. I was just off. I was, oh, I was up just a smidge. That is the best I could have possibly have gotten. Five stars, Alberta. Thank you very much. See, that's all I'm asking for in a GeoGuessr. Guess is uh, all the information to help me figure it out. Language is what? Son of a bitch, Neblina, Uslas, Bahia. Well, this could be Mexico. This could be Brazil. This could be Argentina. Oh, what a thrill. What am I saying? I don't know. Uh, facilitate your Ultra Pass gem. This is a magical land. What does this say? What does this say? BR-153, huh? Well, that last one I saw was... Alright, so look for a BR. I don't think I'm going to find... There is no BR, because I think that's what... The uh, last one was that showed Portugal. And this could be. Am I going to say that this is Portugal? I, I don't think I'm willing to make that assumption just yet. I need more information. I need to be able to top after that 5,000 points I just got. Nailing that place in Alberta. This does not feel like it's Brazil. Um, what's this road sign say? Come on, I didn't fly that far by it. Come on, there we go. Oh, that's just saying the BR thing again. Man, like, there isn't enough here. This feels like it's too temperate a climate to be what Brazil is. Uh, that feels like a European sign. Am I pulling the trigger and not saying that... Am I saying that this is... Potentially Europe? I need more. This is... This road is still... I, I can't... I can't make a decision. That was a sign. Where was it? Where was that sign? Oh, it's right, right up here. Come on. I was just going to say BR again. If anything that's going to help me make a guess is I don't believe Brazilian roads has have this much demarcation on it. So maybe it's actually Portugal. Is there a BR? Am I really doing this? Am I really doing this? 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I need, I need, I don't know if I feel comfortable doing this. That car is getting too far away. I'm never going to actually get close enough, I think, to see that, see the license plate. I got 45 seconds. Ooh, man. Okay. Santa Maria de Arras. Oh, shit. Uh, nope, that is definitely not Portugal. That is definitely not Portugal. All right. Gestau. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, uh, man, I'm not happy with any of this. Ecuador, I think I'll click Ecuador and just be angry at myself. Fuck. 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 Man. Why did this have so much... Alright, so I guess one more thing we're going to learn about Brazilian roads is when they're BR, I think that just means it's a route through the entire country itself. And man, how can I go from like that to this? How can I go from that to this? That's just you, Guesser. I mean, what can I say? Do better? I still just get stumped by it because that did not feel like any of the things that checked off what Brazil was were there. I saw the pyramids. That felt like it was in this area. Felt like it was Spanish, not Portuguese because I still don't know. It felt like the climate seemed too much like up here, although this kind of feels like the same distance. Oh, this is closer to the equator. But anyway, highs and lows. That's going to do it for GeoGuessr for this Wednesday. Um, hope you guys all liked watching it. If you did, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends. Please. I'm begging you people. If you know anything to help me know, either or at least be more confident in my Brazilian guesses than I'm not. Toss the information my way. I'm begging you. I, I'm, I'm floundering over here. Very much so. But come back on Friday. Uh, hopefully my cold won't be as bad as it is if it is anything, but uh, you'll find out then. But for all of us here, we hope you have a good one, and we'll see you next time.